Am I the asshole for getting someone fired when they made a mistake? I was at a grocery store, shopping for supplies some weeks ago, 5-6. My card included some alcohol, so I gave my driver's license as age proof. Now for context I speak with an accent from my home country, English isn't even my first language actually. The cashier and I small talked before the carding about the accent, and I mentioned I'm from another country. So when I handed my ID her, she was surprised that it's got a US state on it. And she said it was a fake. I said no it's not, and she claimed that since I'm from another country, why would I have a US driver's license? I thought she was just slightly confused, so said, I'm not a citizen but I've lived in the US long enough, and that's why I have the license. Also I mentioned that my driver's license has a different state on it that where this interaction happened because I even lived there a few years. And she's still suspicious, and said it's not a real license, and she can't sell me the alcohol or anything else in the cart. I said that I could just buy my basics, and leave the alcohol, and needs to confiscate the license. I was annoyed at this point, and said, listen it's not a fake, if you want I can show you a picture of my passport to check my name and DOB and know this isn't a fake ID. Then will you give me back my ID, let me buy my stuff, and let me get the hell out of a public store during the pandemic? At this point she loses her temper and says, wow you're really full of stories and excuses huh? This isn't my first day on the job, I know a fake when I see one, you aren't getting this back, and grabbed a pair of scissors and cut the card up. At this point I'm furious my card wasn't a fake, and I was happy to prove it, but now I'm stuck without a convenient ID document, need to go to the place, if it's even open and sit in a crowd during a pandemic to get a new one, and I need to start carrying my passport with my everywhere until it's issued so I have an ID on me. So I demanded the manager, created a big deal out of her behavior, I didn't yell, but I was absolutely furious and made it clear how much of a problem, in terms of time, safety and money, she has created for me, and stormed off, and received a gift card for my trouble. I didn't see her the next few times I went in, but saw someone new. Some polite questioning revealed that she was fired even though it was her first offense, because the wasn't pleased that instead of escalating to the manager, the cashier cut up, some customer's ID, willy-nilly, the new guy didn't know I was the customer. And now I'm torn. She was trying to just do her job, and I didn't expect her to be fired. And during a pandemic where everyone is struggling, no less. Of course, I feel like I was justified in making a big stink but I'm sure an entitled person feels the same when they make a big stink about a store not honoring an expired coupon. So tell me folks, am I the asshole? No, no you're not. She didn't just made a honest mistake, here. Getting confused about the fact that you can have an American license without being American, is pretty stupid, but sure, she didn't know. However cutting it before properly checking if she was right? Hell no, you don't do that. At the very least, she should have let you buy the other stuff and go check with her manager, co-workers about her confusion. But no, she was so certain that, immigrants can't have American license. You're illegal. And that, I don't have to check up on it, I'm the American here and I can't possibly be wrong. She deserved to get fired. Don't feel guilty about this, at all. Edit. Forgot the vote since it didn't even feel needed. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Some things are worth being fired over, even if it's a first strike. Harassing a customer and destroying their government-issued ID in a fit of xenophobic rage is one of those things. Not the asshole. This was absurd behavior for a perfectly reasonable explanation. Firing is completely justified. Hopefully the store pays for you to get a new license. There's no store that makes it a policy of cutting up driver's licenses and refusing the sale of all items in a car instead of JUSF the booze. Not the asshole. She wasn't doing her job. It is her prerogative to refuse service to you, if she thinks the ID is fake. But even if she did think the ID was fake, she should have returned the card to you. It most definitely is not her job to cut up cards because she thinks they're fake. Because, really, she has no equipment or training to ascertain someone's ID is fake, just her best guess. Your response was completely appropriate. She was out of line and the management responded appropriately. Not the asshole. This cashier totally failed in following store policy. Not only did she refuse to sell your alcohol, but anything else in your basket. The cashier well deserved her firing, for destroying a customer's property, much less a legal ID. Is this a joke? Clearly not the asshole. I woulda called the cops on her and tried getting her arrested too. Not the asshole. She wasn't fired over, one mistake. She was fired for being racist as fuck and for stealing and destroying a customer's property. 
Geez, she should be fined for that kind of thing. Honestly, I think she easily could have faced legal trouble for that behavior. Heck, if you chose to sue the store, you'd likely have a pretty good case. No, it a beyond good thing that she was fired. Sleep well tonight. Not the asshole, given how impulsively she reacted I would say this probably wasn't her first offense. It is more likely the straw that broke the camel's back. Is it unfortunate timing that she lost her job? Yes, but you don't get a free pass to be unprofessional because of the pandemic. She was looking for a fight, why wouldn't she kindly say, I'm sorry, I can't verify your ID so I'm calling my manager over to take a look, I appreciate your patience. Instead she decided that arguing with you was more valuable than her job. Not the asshole she got herself fired. Don't feel bad about it. Cutting the id was a no-go. Did everyone clap after she got fired? Not the asshole, at all. Her behavior was just downright bizarre even if she thought you had a fake ID. Why would she refuse to sell you the rest of your items? I'm absolutely gobsmacked that she went so far as to cut up your ID. It honestly sounds like her behavior was rooted in xenophobia would she have stolen and destroyed the out-of-state ID of some wonderbred ass Midwestern fellow? I doubt it. She absolutely deserved to be fired. Somebody like that shouldn't be allowed to work with the public. I hope you're able to get a new ID without too much hassle, op. Not the asshole she deserved to be fired. She made a mistake at first but then it turned into a completely purposeful destruction of your property. R. Spot a troll. I miss when am I the asshole actually had real stories instead of people's revenge fantasies. It might have been believable if you'd left out the part about her cutting up your card. Not the asshole on the off chance this is real though. How does anyone believe this story? Cassiers wouldn't care about if your it is real or not, it's not their problem and to cause a scene over it why would they bother? Cutting your driver's license in half? Yeah right that happened. Not the asshole. Too bad firing is all they can do. She wasn't doing her job, she was being a bigot who stepped out of line. Not the asshole there's no reason why any cashier would have authority to cut up your license so she wasn't just doing her job. They don't even do that at the licensing place when your old one expires. That's your private property she destroyed. She probably shouldn't work with people at all. And I would hate to make the implication but she probably felt justified because you are foreign. You said you have an accent and it might have been why she felt justified in treating you unfairly. It's embarrassing and I'm sorry this happened to you. She was being racist, prejudiced. When I was in the US I showed my New Zealand driver's license as ID and they tried to find the license in a book that had all the US state licenses listed in it. I told the cashier 3x that she won't be able to find the state in there because New Zealand is a country and then she called her supervisor for help and they looked together in the book? Like wid up in that country man. What? Not the asshole. She seriously cut up someone's ID? She has zero authority to do that. I'd be surprised if she wasn't fired. Not the asshole, op. Being a racist and ignorant asshole is why she was fired. Her behavior is not on you. Sounds keen to racist to me. Not the asshole her own actions for her fired, not yours. Cutting up someone's ID. That's definitely serious enough to get fired, even if it's a first offense. If she really wasn't sure your ID was real, she should have called over a manager to check. Not the asshole. That's not someone making a mistake, that's someone being either an asshole, or an idiot, probably both. Not the asshole. Even though it's her first offense it's not a small mistake. It's not her job to interrogate you about why you have an American license or to cut up for ID. She deserved to be fired and I'm glad she did. Not at all there is always a chain of command to follow in such situations. She could have just called the manager if she really did not believe your ID was authentic. Not cut it up in front of your face. She faced the consequences of her ignorance. Yes, her firing may induce guilt but all the other external factors like the pandemic, lockdown, etc. are not under your control. Not the asshole I worked as a bouncer per bar manager for 20 years. I took hundreds of IDs from underaged college kids. I never cut one up or destroyed any of them. Well, a few were really bad laminated jobs or taped over fakes that I pulled apart, but those were obvious. I knew there was a chance that I could be wrong, every time, so I'd tell the customer to call the cops so they could verify its authenticity. This cashier, trying to play detective, went way over the line. She destroyed your property and set you back time and money on the most ignorant of hunches, completely born of racist intentions. She didn't need to feel like she had that power. 
she needed a different job and to learn that lesson. Most states require you to get a new state-issued driver's license after living there a few months so seeing an out-of-state license would be rare but not unheard of. However, I've never heard of a cashier cutting up a license before. Credit cards. Sure, but you can get a replacement number in minutes. Licenses are much harder to replace, especially in a pandemic. Add her xenophobia for the cherry on top. Not the asshole. Anyone that makes me have to deal with the DMV will definitely get reported. NTA she was out of line at best, racist at worst. Either way, she made her bed. Nah. I was a cashier at a grocery store when I was younger. We were not allowed to confiscate IDs and sure as hell not allowed to cut them up. Even when I was a server we couldn't do that. We always had to get a manager. Always. She did this to herself. Plus that was pretty stupid of her to assume your ID wasn't real just because you're not from the states. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Dot she was racist and cut up your license. Which you need. Dot she had no right to cut up your license until she had spoken with the manager about her concerns which she didn't. Not the asshole. She's entirely xenophobic and escalated that to a point of no return. I work at a grocery store and if we suspect a fake ID, we are supposed to call over a manager. They will then decide what to do. And never cut it up. Had this cashier just refused to believe that someone not born in America could have an American driver's license and called over a manager, she would just be a shitty, maybe ignorant, person. And not fired. I've worked in bars, pubs, and shops. We were taught if we were suspicious of an ID being fake we can take the ID off them, but we must call the police and hand it over to them. We are not allowed to destroy it, a, because it's potentially evidence and b, because it's not our property. You are not the asshole, she made a very poor choice. And this sort of situation should have come up in her training for the job. If she was unsure she should have called her manager. Not the asshole she is racist. Even if you're a European immigrant she's being straight up racist and xenophobic. She sucks. Fuck her. Xenophobic morons don't deserve jobs woman shrugging medium skin tone and she lied to you. I know a fake when I see one, she was biased towards you, because if she had seen a fake she'd know. And if she had seen a fake before that clearly isn't the procedure. This a real fake sounding story but oh well I guess anything is possible in America. Not the asshole I believe that cutting up someone's license is actually illegal. Not the asshole she should have called her manager as asked them to take over if she suspected the ID is fake. First reaction shouldn't be destroying a document. I'm not sure how is it in US but in my home country it's an offense to destroy official documents. Show me things that didn't happen for $5, op. I was going to say an A-H, until I read that she cut up your card. What the actual fuck? She has zero authority to do that. Not the asshole. Not the asshole the cashier didn't make a mistake. The cashier overstepped her responsibilities and possibly profiled you because you have an accent. The store manager did their job to limit their business liability by cutting the association with the offending employee. R. That happened. Not the asshole. It is job to take suspicious ID not cut it up. Employee ought to have got the manager. You were correct to ask for manager and employee was being rude, unprofessional, and increasingly confrontational with you. Not the asshole. She needed to be fired. Not only that, she got off lucky. I would have called the police and tried to press charges. She had no legal authority to destroy your identification. The fact that you kept it confined to a store complaint speaks highly of your character. She got fired because she destroyed an official document, not because of a little mistake. NTA 100%. Not the asshole funny story time. My dad goes by his middle name, always has. His license has said his middle name first name last name since the late 70s when he got his license. Now his birth certificate, SS card etc all say his name properly. So about 5 years ago he goes to renew his ID and the DMV lady goes what? This is fraudulent. And cut it up. So he either needs to change his name legally or get the SS office to change his name on his card. So he's like I'm not doing this. Goes back a few days later to someone else and gets his ID LMAO. Not the asshole. Even if she just took the ID she still should have brought over a manager. I'm sorry about your ID. Hopefully you're able to set up an appointment for a new one soon skeptical smiley face. Not the asshole in the slightest. Her own actions got her fired, you did nothing wrong. I don't understand how she didn't think that stealing someone's ID and cutting it in half, would get her fired. 
I would have taken it much further. Not the asshole. Even if it had actually been a fake license, that would only have limited the alcohol purchase. You don't need a license to buy groceries in the US. She was W-A-A-A-A-Y out of her authority in confiscating and destroying your license. You didn't get her fired. She got herself fired. Not the asshole, that was beyond a fireable offense, and there's no reason for you to feel bad about a racist getting theirs. The only reason your ID was scrutinized was because you have a non-American accent. If she can't pack away her xenophobia for the eight hours she's on shift, she shouldn't hold the position. This is literally reposted. Not the asshole. This was bigotry. She deserved to be fired and more. To assume that someone shouldn't, couldn't have an ID because they have an accent is beyond ignorance or an accident. Also, the fact that she didn't call a member of management to verify, confirm is also troubling. 